In this video, I want to share something that honestly changes everything we thought we knew about protein and kidney health. A groundbreaking study followed 487 kidney patients for 10 whole years and the results will shock you. It turns out, the answer isn't about cutting protein to the bone. It's about choosing the right foods. And today, I'll show you the five that actually help reverse kidney decline. What was just published in one of the top medical journals is going to flip the renal diet upside down. For decades, patients have been told to count, restrict, and obsess over numbers grams of protein, milligrams of potassium, sodium like it was a game. And yet, people kept getting worse. Here's the truth, we've been playing the wrong game all along. This is one of the largest studies ever done on CKD patients, and it revealed the foods that protect your kidneys and the surprising healthy foods that may actually speed up kidney decline. But there's something even bigger. This study uncovered a way to increase your body's usable protein the kind your body can actually benefit from while still protecting your kidneys. Imagine that, eating in a way that builds you up instead of breaking you down. Stick with me, because in a moment I'll show you exactly what those foods are. And if learning simple, science-backed ways to heal your kidneys excites you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. Number 5 is a big one let's talk about protein and CKD. If you've ever felt confused about protein, you're not alone. It's one of the trickiest parts of kidney health. Here's the paradox. Your kidneys struggle with protein, but your body desperately needs it. Without enough, your tissues can't repair, your strength fades, and yes your life is at risk. I don't say that to scare you, but to underline just how vital protein is. When your usable protein drops too low, doctors call it hypoalbuminemia. And it's something every CKD patient should be tested for especially if protein is already spilling into the urine. Now, here's where the story gets interesting. If you ask an Instagram influencer how to fix this, they'll probably flash a smile and say, just eat steak three times a day. But if you ask a scientist, the answer is far more nuanced. The problem isn't simply not eating enough meat, it's things like inflammation, protein loss, and oxidative stress. These hidden factors can rob your body of the protein it needs, no matter how much you eat. And here's the key, stuffing yourself with steak won't solve that. But science has uncovered ways to help your body hold on to and use more of the protein you already eat. That's where things get really exciting. So, what's the real solution? How do you give your body more usable protein without piling on more high-protein foods? Well, this massive study we've been talking about 487 kidney patients tracked for over 10 years actually found the answer. And it's surprisingly simple, eat more healthy plant-based foods. Now, I know what you're thinking, groundbreaking, vegetables are healthy. But here's the twist. Eating more raw fruits, veggies, and whole grains doesn't just protect your kidneys, it actually raises your serum albumin, the protein your body can use to heal and repair, without overloading your kidneys. That's huge. And if this sounds complicated, don't worry it's really not. One of the key takeaways from this study is that by gently lowering protein intake with smart, plant-based swaps, your body actually becomes more efficient at using the protein it already has. Think of it as giving your kidneys a break, while still giving your body the fuel it needs. So, let's get practical. Here's one of my favorite examples, the humble daikon radish. It's super low in protein and potassium, yet packed with antioxidants, fiber, and natural diuretic properties that directly support kidney function. Plus, it's easy to prepare, slice it up in a salad with carrots, a splash of vinegar, a pinch of ginger or pepper, and a drizzle of avocado oil. 
If you can't find it at your local store, check the Asian market it's usually right by the other root veggies. And that's just one option. Other kidney-friendly, plant-based staples you can lean on daily include cucumber, zero carbs, zero protein, ultra-hydrating, celery, low-calorie, gentle diuretic, eggplant, a powerhouse against free radicals, berries, loaded with antioxidants, zucchini, safe, even if a bit higher in potassium, lettuce and yellow squash, lighter alternatives to potassium-heavy squashes, and here's a tip most people miss, fresh isn't your only option. If fresh is inaccessible, frozen or even canned can be just as healthy sometimes healthier. Why? Because they're processed within hours of harvest, while many fresh grocery store fruits spend weeks ripening in shipping containers. Yes, canned fruits and veggies can be a smart choice just go for those packed in water, and rinse away extra salt from canned vegetables. Avoid anything soaking in syrup, sugar, or heavy sodium. That way, you keep the nutrients without the hidden dangers. The bottom line? Not all plant-based foods are created equal. But when you choose the right ones, you're not only protecting your kidneys you're giving your body the tools to actually thrive. Alright, let's move on to number 4. And this one honestly surprised me it's a food you might not expect to see on the avoid list, potatoes. Yep, believe it or not, in this study potatoes were grouped right alongside animal fat, dairy, eggs, fish, seafood, and meat the very foods CKD patients are told to steer clear of. Here's the twist it's not because of potassium. For decades. Patients were told to avoid potatoes for that reason alone. But we're not in the 90s anymore. Today, kidney nutrition isn't about banning a food just because it's high in potassium. So why the bad rap? It all comes down to how most people eat them. Think French fries, potato chips, greasy hash browns, or instant mashed potatoes loaded with salt, oil, and additives. Those versions are strongly linked to higher mortality risk and yes, faster progression to dialysis. But here's the good news, potatoes themselves aren't the enemy. Prepared the right way, they can actually be very nourishing. Boiled or steamed with the skin on, they're full of B vitamins, fiber, and antioxidants. Even baked or roasted potatoes can be kidney-friendly just keep the oil minimal and don't toss the skin. And let's be real they're delicious that way, too. And if you're living with diabetes? There's a simple trick, cook your potatoes, then let them cool before eating. Doing this lowers their glycemic index, making them much friendlier for blood sugar control. Worried about potassium? You can still enjoy potatoes using the double boil method, which cuts potassium by up to 50%. It's little kitchen hacks like these that turn a forbidden food into something safe, satisfying, and even beneficial. Because at the end of the day, enjoying the foods you love and knowing how to prepare them is the secret to sticking with a kidney-friendly diet long-term. Alright, let's move on to number 3. And this one might surprise you, vegetable oil especially if you're living with diabetes. For years, we've been told that adding more fats to meals is good for blood sugar control, that oils help prevent glucose spikes. But according to this new research, that idea doesn't hold up. In fact, vegetable oils even olive oil aren't the safe friends many health gurus or influencers make them out to be. Truth is, they've been quietly working against us all along. Think of it this way, for someone with diabetes who's already overweight, adding oil is like pouring gasoline on a fire. It doesn't cool things down it makes the problem worse. Now, don't panic and go dump every bottle of oil in your kitchen sink. Oils aren't bad for everyone. If you're underweight or trying to gain healthy weight, then yes. 
things like extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil can actually be helpful. But if you're overweight or struggling with diabetes, oils are enemy number one. Even in the general population, high oil intake is linked to a greater risk of type 2 diabetes. The real takeaway here? There's no one-size-fits-all kidney diet. What helps one person could harm another. And if you feel like you're guessing every time you eat, you're right you shouldn't be guessing at all. Because food isn't just fuel when you have kidney disease it's medicine. Every bite can either heal or harm. And you deserve a diet that's simple, science-backed, and made to actually work for your body. Now let's move on to number two. And this one is huge because it can literally make the difference between a plant-based diet that saves your kidneys and one that quietly destroys them. Number two is refined grains things like white rice, white bread, pasta, and those sugary breakfast cereals. I know, these foods are everywhere. But here's the truth, in every large study on CKD patients, Refined grains are consistently linked to faster kidney decline. That doesn't mean you need to go throw your rice and bread out the window. What it means is this, the real danger is how these foods fuel weight gain. And we know where that leads diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, all the things that push kidneys downhill. So here's the fix, swap refined grains for whole grains. For example, instead of white rice, go with brown rice. A lot of people think brown rice is worse because it's higher in potassium and phosphorus but that's not true. Brown rice is actually much lower on the glycemic index, packed with fiber, and even lower in protein than most other whole grains. It's one of the simplest swaps you can make to protect your kidneys. And it's not just brown rice. If you look at my table on screen, you'll see plenty of whole grains that are kidney-friendly and lower in protein. These should form the very foundation of your diet foods you eat every single day. Here's one most people overlook, cornmeal. A lot of people think it's unhealthy, but that's only if you prepare it the wrong way. In reality, cornmeal is full of fiber, naturally gluten-free, and surprisingly low in protein. Add it into healthy recipes and it can be a real staple for kidney health. Now, let's talk about number one the food that looks healthy, but is actually one of the biggest dangers for people with kidney disease. Take a look at this burger. It's vegan. Sounds good, right? For someone avoiding meat, a plant-based burger seems like the perfect option. But here's the truth. It's not food, it's fake food. These products are filled with soy protein concentrate, seed oils, sugar, additives you can't pronounce, and a shocking amount of sodium. Honestly, it's just junk food in disguise. So what's the better choice? If you want a hearty, meaty texture in your meals, use mushrooms especially shiitake. They're not only kidney friendly, but they also bring powerful health benefits. They can help manage cholesterol, they're rich in beta-glucans, and they even contain a bit of vitamin D something that's often hard to get on a plant-based diet. So here's the takeaway, eat real, simple plant foods. Skip the fake meats. Because if it takes 47 ingredients to taste like beef, maybe it's not something your kidneys need. Just saute some mushrooms instead. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of your kidneys, and God bless you.